Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we went through more of the Cavern of Chaos and we, well, it was honestly not that fun of an episode. <laughs> and mostly because a bunch of stuff went wrong and I was going crazy and oh boy, this is already off to a great start. So this episode we are hopefully going to finish the Cavern of Chaos. Um, we shouldn't have too much left. There's a bunch of poison here for no reason. Um, uh, cloaking baronet. Um, so this slub bubble's whole gimmick is it being a bunch of blowhogs, actually, a bunch of uh, withering and possibly a puffy blowhog. I I, I think there may be one. Um, I doesn't look like there's anything over here, so that was useless. Um, so yeah, uh, ew. yeah, this is the thing that they like to do. Fortunately enough, it looks like the withering blowhogs are, are for the most part, staying away from this, this little, uh, this little number right there. Oh, um, Unfortunately, did get a purple Pikmin deflowered, though. That's not that good. Um, genuinely, though, the Puffy Blowhogs uh, don't alarm me as much since they don't deflower your Pikmin. They're just annoying. Um, this does worry me, though, because that little nose beak, whatever of, of it, of the Cloaking Baronet, may be able to reach the other side of the wall. Let's find out. Maybe not. Okay. How about this? Put that one down. Put it down again. And do this. Nice. That was great A strategy. Like great A, not great A. Um. So it seems like this puffy blowhog has a treasure. Oh, sir, you want to give up that treasure? We'll steal your treasure, because we're Phantom Thieves. I've, okay, I've been playing a lot of Persona. Um, but like I... Oh, hey, okay, hello. You didn't have to do that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Go away. Get, get out of here. You're not stealing my Pikmin. There's another one? I know there were two Puffy Bullhogs. I, okay. I will say, we've gotten very unlucky with this cave so far. This might be our, like, luckiest sub-level yet. This might genuinely be the most lucky that I've gotten on this sub-level to begin with. So yeah, um, I'm playing a lot of Persona 5 Royal lately. Um, absolutely love it. I, I really want to do a series on it on my channel, but... I, I don't know. I've been very uh, indifferent about doing a series on a uh, JRPG, mostly because I, I don't know how I would tackle it exactly. I would want to include bios and stuff like that for like all of the enemies as well, and so a lot of work would go into it, um, but I, I, I just don't know how it, exactly I would go with it. Um, impenetrable cookie. Does that mean it's a stale cookie? If so, I don't really want it. <laughs> yeah, I I just don't know how I would tackle a JRPG. So who knows? I I may I may do one in the future. Um, there is one particularly in mind that I absolutely want to do before I ever decide. Like, okay, yeah, I'm 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 not gonna do YouTube anymore. Um, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. Um, for now, you know, just riding, riding with the flow. Another Duracell battery. Damn, fuel reservoir. Yeah, I might be because it's, 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 you know, battery. It's quite big, although I think the, the first treasure that we got was bigger than that, so. Who knows? Anyway, Cabinet of Chaos, level 8. 
Oh, I already don't like the spawn. Please, please, no, please. Oh, oh. Okay, this isn't too bad. Oh, I... Okay, this is the infamous sub-level from this cave. This this is most likely what people remember when they think about the Cavern of Chaos. For some reason, they decided to just, you know, shove a whole bunch of bulb orbs in, in, a, in a room with two Gatling Granks and just like, hey, let's let's call this a sub-level, you know? And just like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I, 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 this, this one's painful. Um, I know it's over here. I, oh, please no, please no. Please, oh, oh my gosh! That was so many! Oh, this is awful. I just gotta, just gotta ride with the waves, you know? Can't, can't do much about it. Gotta, I don't, okay, we need to work around this. I, I can't just, like, go in without a plan, so, okay, hi. You're not, okay, you're not going to without any Pikmin. Um, here, you guys, ten of you, come with me. We are going to, uh, distract it. Hello. Hello. You don't. Okay, there it goes. So we're, we're going to keep our distance. And not alarm the creature. Until we go in for the kill. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice, okay. And remember, Gatling Granks, they regenerate health. So we need to take care of the rest of these guys quickly so that we can just take him back to the ship and not have to worry about him. Um... This is, this is a freaking, this is absolutely just a troll sub-level, to be honest. Like, it's not even, like, it's not even funny at this point. It's just like, hey, let's, let's just do this, you know. Oh, oh, no, 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 because that other one decided to be right there. Oh, this is, guys, guys, can, can you not? Okay, I have a plan, I have a plan. I have something of a plan. Um, 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 okay. This is backfiring a little bit. I'm stressing out because his, his life is going up, and that's not good. Um, over here. Over here. This way. Okay? Nice Pikmin. Nice juicy Pikmin. Um, you guys, we are going to deal with him real quick. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, he... Okay, okay with these guys. Um, you guys, do that. Please. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He's gonna recover, isn't he? He's, he's gonna wake up, isn't he? Because it doesn't go... It, it doesn't... It's not... He... He doesn't recover fully if he's at full health. It, I think it's a little bit before full health, but that's fine. Okay. We dealt with the main threat of this freaking sub-level. Oh, jeez. I need a break. I, I literally need a break after that. Okay. Anyway, um, interesting fact about this sub-level. I believe this might be the only sub-level in the game. Um, where you are able to have more than 64 carcasses on the ground. Um... Uh, if, if, if everything is right, if you, like, get eggs that have metites in them and, and stuff, you are... Essentially, there are more than, uh, 64 enemies or creatures on this sub-level. Um, a, a glitch will happen, or not necessarily a glitch, but, um, a, uh, a sort of, uh, I don't know what to call it exactly. I guess it's a glitch. No, it's a limitation. Limitation occurs. Um, so apparently, the game cannot handle more than 64 carcasses, and I could be wrong about this. I'll probably have something on screen. Um, 
It, it cannot handle more than 64. I sworn I heard another Gatling groin, and I was about to scream. I <laughs> freaking am on edge right now. Um, yeah, apparently this game cannot handle more than 64 carcasses on, on the sub level at a time. And so, uh, under right conditions, if, uh, if the game exceeds 64, any enemy that dies afterward just just disappears. The game just deletes it. Um, the, the body is no longer on the ground. You can't find it anywhere. The, 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 the game literally just deletes it, which I find really interesting because I guess they didn't expect a sub-level to have more than 64 enemies. Um, this one's... This, I will say, once the Gatling ranks are gone, this sub-level is pretty fun. Um, it's it's actually insane to see all of the freaking bulb orb carcasses. Or bulb orbs, I'm sorry. Um, absolutely insane to see all of them just, you know, lying on the ground. There's so many of them. Um, something, something that I like to do from time to time um, is just, like, gather all of the carcasses up near my ship and then just sort of have, like, a sort of rave or, like... Parade. Fruit guard. Tree top apple juice. 100% juice. No concentrate? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's that's something that I like to do. Just bring all of the carcasses together. I would do that. Um, but I only have a limited amount of time. And I don't want to be recording and wasting my time with that. Um, so yeah. I'm I'm just sad that we freaking had to lose like what five yellow Pikmin to the to the Gatling rank. Also, this is an interesting exit to the sub level. Well then, delve deeper, of course. Also, I'm pretty sure this this makes the longest cave that we've been in so far. I think. No, actually. Subterranean complex with sub level nine. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Are you? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, the game is being nice for a change. Oh my gosh, wait a second. This is actually incredible. I guess you guys can carry that back, but I but I need you. I I, I need you to carry this thing. Um. So, I don't know if it's for certain or not, but the water in the middle of this sublevel, a treasure might end up in there at some point. I don't know. Maternal sculpture. Because, you know, it's the top of a baby bottle, so, you know. Yeah. Um, I. Oh my gosh. Oh, reasons why I don't like the, amp the amplifier. It just makes the whistle too big to add at times. Um, yeah, I maybe a treasure can can go in there. I don't know for sure. Um, I would just be careful. Always conserve the white and blue Pikmin numbers in caves. Bogle noggin. Nice. That's it for the sub level. Okay, I mean. That's fine. There's some craning to Ridgey bugs here, and um, and a bumbling stitch bug. That's that's. I think that's really it for this sub level. It can get a little bit annoying and a little bit frustrating and a little bit scary with him in the water, but we didn't really have a struggle there, which was great. That was great. Um, I wonder when this cave's gonna end. Cavern of Chaos, sub level ten. This is the final floor. So, this is officially the longest cave that we have been in. Um, which is actually crazy. It actually went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, so, be very careful. I am not for sure. It does. This is the Segmented Crobster. I believe that's the name. I am. I'm sorry if that it isn't. Um, 
it is a new boss. It is a new enemy. Um, I would recommend keeping all of your Pikmin with you for this boss fight specifically. Um, okay. Um, so the strategy with the segmented cropster is oh, okay. Please don't kill anyone. Um, is that it will lock onto your captains like so and start rolling and you want to ram it into a wall it killed a pikmin oh boy and as we've demonstrated once it does that rocks will fall from the ceiling so be very careful this boss fight is actually uh did it kill another one i couldn't tell um i'm not gonna lie this boss fight is actually really cool Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This boss fight is actually really cool. And I think it's a really challenging boss fight. I... I'm spraying. Guys, just, just kill it, please. He's killed like half of our numbers. I I really like this boss fight. It's it's really challenging actually and Okay. And oh my gosh, it killed like all of our purple Pikmin. And it continues to kill more Pikmin. Okay. As you can see it's definitely been a minute since I fought this thing. Um another bitter spray, okay. Let's take advantage of this then. Um me, personally, I wouldn't really recommend Purple Pikmin. It doesn't stun it or anything like that. I, To be honest, I would mostly recommend Red Pikmin when fighting this boss. Um, I I think they, they really help out. And honestly, one of... Uh, oh, oh my... Oh my gosh! It just wasn't running into the ball! What the heck? Wow. Please kill it. Please kill it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I am so sorry. All of the purple Pikmin are dead. <laughs> All of them are dead. Oh, what? what's the damage? Oh my gosh. One yellow Pikmin. Nine blue Pikmin. The white Pikmin are fine. We, we only lost like two white Pikmin in this whole cave. I might have lost one in that boss fight. Um. Wow. Okay. I wasn't prepared for that, apparently. Anyway, this thing is absolutely terrifying. Um. A few things that I wanted to uh, point out in this uh, sub level. Um. Actually, there's a there's a bunch of things that I want to point out, um, and and I guess I can talk about it while trying to get these potions. So first of all, this is the first boss fight where we actually the first final floor where we actually don't get an upgrade to our suit. The amplified amplifier was actually the last upgrade that we were getting. Um, the wistful wild caves do not give you suit upgrades, so it's important to finish those caves at the other areas before tackling the caves here so that you have a fully upgraded suit. Um, also, this is called Silencer. I can understand why this would be a silence for it's absolutely terrifying. It's like 70 Pocos though, that's not that bad. So yeah, a few things about uh, this sub-level specifically is, first of all, um, with that treasure, Something that I never talked about, and actually never... Okay, jumped and you freaking ruined everything. Um, something I never actually knew about with Final Floors and their treasures after boss fights um, is that they have dynamic waiting, and apparently... Um, I'm not going to go in there yet, because there is a bunch of things I need to talk about real quick. Um, apparently, the, the dynamic waiting... Depending on how many Pikmin you have left, it will change the weight of the treasure um, to suit the needs of your Pikmin. So, we lost a bunch of Pikmin to this fight. Um, 
so let's say, you know, I, I didn't see how much that was, but, you know, let's assume we had, like, nine Pikmin left. That treasure would probably have been weighed nine instead of what it actually was. Um, another thing is, this is a good example, although it's rare, this is a, go a good example of an embed glitch, I believe. Um, I guess if you, you know, kill the segmented crobster next to a wall and, you know, the treasure falls, like, at, at least halfway into the wall or something like that, and you start trying to carry it back, it'll either get stuck there, or push further back, you lose all of your Pikmin, because, you know, that's the void, that technically if your Pikmin go out there, they will die. Um, they will fall, and that'll count as, like, oh, it fell out of bounds, it died. Um, and another thing, I believe, I, um, is that after getting the Stellar Orb, um, the, the treasure you get for beating the man at legs, um, this sublevel actually, is actually darker than what it's supposed to be. The stellar orb has the opposite effect on the sublevels, for some reason, I don't know why. Oh boy, 70, we lost 70 Pikmin. Oh my gosh, that's, I... I feel sick. I I hope our numbers are okay. You guys are absolute troopers, honestly. Thank you for sticking with me. I feel so bad. Okay, let's check the numbers. Um, six. We're still able to have 20 of you guys. In fact, we're able to have 24. Okay. You guys are fine. 82 purple Pikmin. We lost, like, so many purples. Um, you guys are fine. I put them away, but I wanted... Okay, you know, they, they can be all put away. They deserve a break. Wow. 100 red Pikmin. Interesting. That... Okay. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out... Our land site right here is where the Emperor Ballblacks was in the first game. Um, that's that's a really cool detail. There's nectar up here, um, some rock spots and stuff like that. Um, it sort of I don't exactly know what this structure is supposed to be. I don't know what the president's doing. Oh, he's chasing me! And there's also a yield sign right here, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, let's just go to sunset. I am like. I your remote, why are you so loud? Um, I'm actually even knowing we have happy music right now, I'm in distraught for the Pikmin. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> this is what I get for not practicing the Wistful Wild. Hello, Sheerwig. And oh why so many things. Good news, though, is that we never have to do the Cavern of Chaos again. That sort of makes me happy after today, I'm not gonna lie. Today's report. Oh, boy. And... Doomsday Apparatus, freaking 3,000. That's a lot of Pocos! Oh my gosh. How many in total? Plus 60 to battle and 10 to explosion. I don't remember the explosion one. That might have been the first episode. Um. Wow. 419 to 3... 357. That is... That is very different for me, I'm not gonna lie. So... Olimar, you've worked so hard. Your special bonus arrived today. This is the first, right? I I bought the kids a few things. They've been wanting. They're they were so happy, and so was I. I'm wasting my paycheck. Can't believe you. I earned that bonus after the trauma that I went through today. I think I've earned it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be going back to the Wistful Wild and. Doing more things above ground before hopefully going back to a different cave. Um, 
My plan is definitely to be in the final cave of the game by day 14, so the next day. Um, we'll see if that happens, because there's still a bunch that we need to do above ground. Um, we may do it day 15, depending on how I feel about my potions. Um, I may want to stock up on berries for, for a single day alone. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, please, please, like, comment, and subscribe, because I don't say that as often as I should. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, please, you have, you have no idea what it means, to be honest, like, especially during these times. Um, like, even the smallest of things means the world to me. Um, I know I'm not that big, I know I will probably never be that big, but, um, honestly, I, I, I'm glad at the moment that I am, <laughs> I am not big, um, because I definitely do not have the, uh, capacity to, uh, handle a large crowd right now. Um, again, things are very different and tough at the moment, but we'll, we'll get through it. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, I hope you guys are enjoying this series, and you guys are staying safe. See you guys next time.